Hey everyone, it's John here from Otagaki, back with another video, and this video is going to be just a quick schedule update into the NHL playoffs, uh, just some news that we've seen over the last couple days, and today of course, and of course if you are a new subscriber, welcome, please smash that like button and leave your thoughts in the comment section below, so I'm not going to waste any time, let's get right into it. So looking at this, this is going to be the times for uh, Toronto time, uh, for when we're going to see the game. So Edmonton is obviously two hours back, so for 12 o'clock. I'm in Edmonton, that would be 2 o'clock in Toronto. So the games for Toronto time will be uh, 12 o'clock in Toronto, 2 o'clock Toronto time in Edmonton, 4 o'clock Toronto time in Toronto, 6 o'clock Toronto time in Edmonton, 8 o'clock Toronto time in Toronto, and 10 o'clock Toronto time in Edmonton. So both in Toronto and Edmonton, the games are going to be 12 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and, and 10 o'clock. And obviously because Edmonton is two hours behind Toronto, it gives uh, that gap. So for streaming for this channel, we'll probably miss, I mean, if I decide to stream like all day, for example, or for a lot of games, like maybe I'll miss the first period for a game, but then be able to stream for every second and third period. So it's going to be cool that way. Of course, if you haven't been in the streams for this channel, definitely check them out. Uh, join up, say hello. Uh, tonight I'll be streaming at 9 p.m. Eastern time. So um, come through if you want. Just to look at a couple other things, Pierre Lebrun, um, he made an appearance on TSN just saying, there has been a level of collaboration between the NHL and NHLPA that I have never seen. Just the fact that they've come together, uh, the NHLPA executive board came together and they passed this vote. Now we're going to see uh, from the whole membership, uh, we're, we're going to see uh, if they ratify it and then if we get hockey back. And uh, David Pagnotta says, with the NHLPA's full membership voting underway to ratify their return to play plan and CBA, the NHL Board of Governors have their call and vote on Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern time. So as we're in this 48 hour span right now for the whole membership, the players to get their votes in, it just needs majority. Majority will pass and majority will move forward to get hockey back and then it will finish off with Friday. Um, well, that's not officially at the end, but Friday at 4 p.m. will be the Board of Governors and their vote. And he just replied with this tweet saying, uh, providing both sides vote to ratify the agreement, so passing the agreement, uh, and things move forward soon after that. I'd guess the week of, the NHL will release the round robin and qualifying round schedules. So based on that, say we get the news that everything's passed by, whether it's really late Friday or I, I would say more like a Saturday thing, we could get the schedule as soon as Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. And right now it's scheduled that training camps will start on Monday. So I would expect we will get a schedule for the qualifying or whatever you want to call it, the playing rounds and the first round of the playoffs by Monday, July 13th, which is expected to be the start of training camps. Of course, that could still change if things get shifted, uh, but they're targeting July 13th right now. And uh, just a couple other points just quickly is... Well, I want to show this first. The officiating was announced as well. And for example, Wes McCauley is going to be officiating the east side in Toronto. So that's pretty cool. So this is the officiating for the Edmonton side and the Toronto side. The first round, uh, the play-ins and the first round will stay in Edmonton and Toronto. Same thing with the second round. And then for the conference finals and the Stanley Cup final, that will be played in Edmonton. And that's where obviously the families can get more involved. So I just wanted to look at this and just remind people the play-ins, the first round, the second round will be playing in Toronto, Edmonton separately, East and West, and then it'll shift to Edmonton for the conference finals and Stanley cup final. So let me know what you think. Obviously a lot of conversation to be had still. I just wanted to post a video just going over a couple topics, schedule update, uh, news update, officiating all of that, uh, where it's going to be played, what time. So again, 12 o'clock for, o'clock and eight o'clock will be the times for in Toronto and Edmonton. Of course, again, Edmonton is two hours back. So based on what I showed you, that's going to be all based on Toronto time. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. If you aren't yet, please subscribe, smash that like button and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope to see you in the next videos uh, or on the stream. Uh, this was John from Atikaki. Have a good one. Peace out.